Okay, guys, we're back with episode two of the Amnesia: Dark Ascent, and uh, we're back where we left off with this weird potion thing. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I have probably just googled it, and I still don't actually have a fucking clue what I'm doing. I've worked out to run, uh, is shift and whatever way you want to go, I suppose. Um, we're probably just gonna go and walk about for a bit. Because I think you have to find the chemicals, they're not actually in this room, thank god, because I think I've thrown half and down this fucking well and just across the building. And they're all stuck in this machine anyway. They might like run to bear fast. Um, yeah, let's go have a run about, see what's happening. Maybe we're going to sell us that baby or something. Jesus, that fragrance, the master's rose. I can't actually remember how to get the bloody lamp out, actually. Oh. How do I get my lamp out? Oh, look, oh. Yeah, no, no. How do we get the lamp out? There we go, and that's how you get the lamp out. Right, let's have a run upstairs. As fast as we really can. Entrance hall. But is that the way we're supposed to be in? Let's just have a look around here quickly. Let's, um. I thought I was supposed to find like a wine cellar or something. I think that's what I've read. That looks more nice. It's not here, is it? It's not. Is there, a, is there a wine cellar opposite? Is it in here? Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of here, boxes. Supposed to find a wine cellar somewhere, but we seem to be back in this shit now. I don't think we're in there. So we got to see entrance one. We're gonna fucking walk about, see what's happening. Run about because we're fucking new same boat now. Chase the rose lingered in his mouth. Turkey spot, blah 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 blah. Right, what's in that? Cellar Veneria. Oh. Oh no, I don't want to go that way. Oh, I suppose we should. Fuck. Did you hear it? Who was screaming? Oh, wine cellar, right on. Oh, got ya. That's why I read where we had to go. Can we take it up? No? Maybe? No? Because it won't budge, it's fucking planks on it, you deal. Right, let's run over here. Archives. Nah, I don't want to go down here. Actually. Let's go down here. This one's obviously boarded up as well. Maybe we pick up a hammer at some point, that'd make me feel better. Fucking good trusty hammer. Oh, we got off it? Yes, we got off it. been that way because we can't get that way. Let's go to the one side. See what's happening. It's locked and it won't open without a key. Well that's fucking right in the corner. Right, okay, let's try the archives. Run master the run. There's a bit of wind in this house. Castle, what about it? These other children cleared, cheered him on. His name voice and a steadily rising pace urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy fought and struck his victim with a rock. Nice. Slapped him with a rock. What the fuck is that? Hello? Maybe may I'll slap you with this lamp. Right, this oh there's another door there. Let's close that. Let's also close that one. I think Oh okay, sweet. Yeah. Let's turn 
that bad boy. Is there any... Oh, what's this? Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Derich, I suppose. Sweet, nice one, nice one. He's on slave sweet. What is that noise? We got tin the boxes out of the hours, boys. We might as well. Don't need that. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Nice one. What the f oh. I keep thinking of stuff that I can pick up is something I can use, but it's not. Books, books, any books, any books, any books, any books, any books. Books, books, books. Oh, maybe we needed them once. What does that say? Something rich. Where did the other one go? Maybe I'll just. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Maybe I'll, uh. We'll bring this chair with us. Just in case. It's a little very. Bring this, bring the chair. If he wants some of this chair, I will get him over here. Libri, what does that mean? Get out of here. Old tomes? Oh, is it? Oh, shit. Oh, that sounds like the sort of shit you don't want to break. Oh. Let's just light everything. What was that door? Stadium? You could just wrote study, sweet. The old tomes. Can't just write that, can you? Gotta write that in a different language. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, close that straight away. What's in there? What's in there? Oh, whatever. Oil? It's in the box. Sweet. Wouldn't like them bad boys. You wanna like that though? What's that? What's that? What's that? Oi! Is this any significance? What does it mean? Fuck. Nothing. It means nothing. Doesn't matter. Is there anything in this? No. Is there anything in these? No. There's not. There's not. Right, okay. I just love the physics of these sort of games. You can just pick shit up and throw it. It's just great. I'm pretty sure that was the same painting that was on the wall out there. Maybe we're in the same place. I'm a little bit confused on what the fuck's going on, to be honest with you. Looking at these. No. 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 Wonderful. Mr. Chair. Nice one. Local history. Don't open it, it's locked. 
We need a key for that other place to be honest. I feel like my lamp's gonna run out soon. the check for me. Hello? Oh, okay. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, this doesn't look like a room I want to go. Let's have the lamp ready. Oh, that's blood. That's blood and he's smashed his head with a rock. See what's going on. I'll grab this wheel. Replace some of the old piano. Oh, I'm playing planning for That's a shame. Oh, that nice play the dinner. Right. Oh, Mr. Chair. I'm back off. I'm not afraid to use it. What's in there? In there was a crusher, central crusher. Not there. Looks like a fire has a bit in here. Open sesame. Anything good? No, I've never seen that. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered huh. my strength and Jesus. yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. That's not the right. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. I was trapped. Oh, wonderful, nice one in the box. Anyway, oh, the book. Oh, I love that. Keep that down. Anything that one? No. There's nothing that one. We've already got it. So, basically, man got trapped. Shat his pants. We can't get out. We're going to have to jump. Um, and that was it, really. So, maybe I'll get it. Oh, that's good. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Saying is, do you reckon we brought something back from the tomb with it? I'm, just, I'm gonna guess. Maybe matey boy there that run over the castle it was the professor, maybe. And he knows what was down there. But Daniel, being the fucking idiot that he is, just go, yeah, sweet, we'll just go with we'll YOLO in there, mate, see what happens, innit? Doesn't know no what's going on. Maybe throw that in there. Shit in there, innit? What are scrolls? Alright, let's go. Get the fuck out of here. 
Oh, we've been caved in. Oh, shit. Boy back on. Right, so where do we go from here? Ah, uh, right, job. We're not breakable by hand. Um, fragile right, but not break. Maybe I thought just I'm good at this shit. Me throwing stuff and stuff. Cool, sis. Thanks. Jumped one over there. Sweet. Hello. You have to be swift. When you activate the first one, you hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? Yep. You can never be too careful, Dan. Never be too careful, Daniel. And this book doesn't seem to want to suffer far. We have that book, cool sheet. Oh, oh, shit, yeah. Oh, yeah, he said you have to do him. You have to do him. Oh, crap. Not fast enough. Not fast enough. Oi! I did that on a fucking whim as well. I didn't even have a clue what was going on. That is great. I literally just wanted to throw that book as well. Like these boxes. I'm throwing shit on this game. Ah. Oh. I know what to do. Bush. 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 Can we have this one as well? Bush. Fuck it. Altstad and the Brennenberg Castle. 1801. Another region. Richard Floor is Oldstrat. Start, start, or, or whatever the fuck that is. Deep within the East Prussian woods for centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbour, Castle Brennenberg. Quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition all travellers should indulge themselves in such conversation since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motives that keep reappearing. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. That's a long old time. It was said the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and went forever down to roam their grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured, empty, empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragging behind them, or dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. Which dark scheme do they follow? Oh, that's a bit long, isn't it? I don't know about that, boys. It's alright, though. We've got a lot of boxes here. Bush. Right, let's go to the next room. Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, that's never good, is it? That's good. We like a bit of warmth. Don't want that. All that. We definitely want that. That's the one. Oh shit! No fucking way. No, 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 Hello? Hello? It's alright, Mr. Chair, this is the time for you, my friend. Because <laughs> if he cut him, I'm pretty sure there's a matey in. Oh, he's opened the door for us, that was nice. So we have to climb back out of the box. Look, mate, if you want some of this, I can throw this chair pretty hard. I can't remember what way I came in. Okay, I'll come in this way. Oh, okay, I'm not going that way. 
rotating, you know, like we're a lion tamer. Oh, oh. Fucking corner over there. He's in. I don't. Oh, oh. disgusting noise. Disgusting. It's the chair. Go and. Why is it all the same? What the fuck? Go and sort him out. Reserve my old because I'm running out of fucking oil. Can we go in here? We can. I want to go in here first. Oh, okay. This is really weird. It's all the exact same. Rare books. Hello? Oh, I'm having flashbacks from touching a bit of paper. Shit. Mr. Chair, don't leave me. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closer to my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Oh, he broke it. Maybe that's what he, how he brought it back. Broke it, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Mr. Chair, you did nothing. Didn't protect me at all. Right, that's that way, that's the window. We wanna be going this way, I think. I can get a guess. Right, sweet. Right, let's go to the right side. Oh, all this just to find some fucking chemicals. Just give me the goddamn chemical. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh. That sucks. We can't run it on with this army. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. That's one of my legs gone, I'm fucking dead now. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the white cell. Let's grab us a couple of glasses. God knows we need it right now. Use the key on the door to unlock it. Okay, game. There we go. Lovely. Do not be running down them stairs to the Sanity will slowly drain thermal lines and new ones between the boom box. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Give me the old crusty lamp out. What have we got here? Boxes. Sweet. 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 No, 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 no. Right. What's the crack down here then? Got it, yeah. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us with a wine to last us a lifetime! Or at least until tomorrow! <laughs>
Top banter, lads. Nice. Okay, so we just come down the stairs. Fuck. Some shit over here. Hello, if you want to come in. We can come in. No? Okay. Fuck off. What's in these boys? Uh, we can pick up barrels, man. This oh. Is that a pig? How did we get out of there? That's the pig. Oh, that's half a pig. That sucks. Unlucky. One and a half pigs there. Oh, shit. I think I've got more. Oh, hold on. I've got the tiniest bit of oil left. Can I miss the pig? Or one and a half pig? What is that scratching noise? That's disgusting. Disgusting. Nice. Pig. not even care about these bodies everywhere. If we have Mr. Broom, we could have sorted this out, but I've seen Mr. Broom in years. It's just dead pieces everywhere. And a feather. I don't know. Oh, that is. Oh, is that Mr. Bro oh, I was expecting Mr. Broom. Right guys, that's it. I think we're going to leave it there for this episode. I think we're really starting to get into it now. Um, it's starting to get a little bit more scary, especially with the guy who keeps walking around and sort of running away from us. But Yeah, other than that, see you guys in the next one. Boop!